Hi, my name is Song, but welcome back to Gloomhaven. So given that the Runus Rift was a really nice enclosed scenario of one room and allowed me to, you know, pop a lot of summons with the summoner, I think we should probably try the Scorch Summit. Um, it, might, it might be an opportune time to do this now that we have the summoner. Uh, just again, because it's a nice enclosed room. Uh, hopefully the summons acting on their own doesn't hinder us too much, but... Um, I know that with the Zephyrs running around not being able to attack them, at least the summons can maybe take a few attacks from that. And Chinaz pendant of Dark Pact, so we'll see how it goes. The pendant of Dark Pact will allow her to get more summons out. <laughs> so, we'll see. Oh, you know what? I just thought of maybe she might be able to get out two Living Bones and two uh, Power Cores at once. Now, that's an interesting idea. We'll have to see how that works. You are far off the main road when you see a small band of Enochs approaching from the west. You try to divert your path to go around them, but they are moving directly into your path. In a few minutes' time, they overtake you. You've wandered into our territory, travelers, the biggest one says. We don't much like visitors. You stare at her blankly. Such acts can be forgiven, but it will cost you. Don't we already have this one? Is this just an ongoing one, I guess? Because I, I thought that, like, We'd gotten rid of it, unless it just put it back in the deck, which is possible. Um, I'm just going to check the Craig Hearts and see if there's, if it's his or what. No, okay, it's just an ongoing one. Well, let's fight him. Standing before the great, proud Drake, you see nothing to discuss with the monster. If it wants your help... It's certainly for a nefarious purpose. The drakes you've met previously certainly haven't been very kind. You ready your weapons with determination. So, it's to be that way, is it? The drake sighs. Well, I suppose I could eat, if you insist. It takes in a deep breath. Equipped items, pretty... Yeah. Um, maybe... Kill one or more elite monsters? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Easy. <laughs> 13 XP. Have one or more monsters present? That's a perfect one for this because it's a single room boss scenario. Some of the battle goals are just gimmies, and other ones are just like, you have to try really hard for one check mark. So I try to choose the ones that are passive. Oh, and everybody just took three damage, so wonderful. Okay, so he can't be moved or pushed or anything. I'll put you in the front. You're going to pop Diddy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if, that's a, that's an interesting change compared to the uh, the physicals game because he, in the physical game, occupies three sections here. Whereas this one, he only occupies one. And he sometimes has some weird issues with things being adjacent and in his line of sight and stuff. I, I don't know how to describe it, but sometimes he, he doesn't attack when he should. So we could disarm those two. Defensive D, well, Defensive D is my top. The He can't be wounded. Um, we'll just do Cautious with a little bit of a move, I guess. Oh, that's right, you're wounded now. Oh. Well, let's put you here, then. You're gonna go and try to stun and wound that thing, I think. I'll have to use my plus one range, but then you can come back and heal off a little bit here. Uh, the other option I have for a top is beacon but that means you're gonna go kind of late so strengthen all adjacent allies and then pop your defensive stance uh, so that's gonna heal one everybody you're gonna heal one everybody you're planning to shield everybody and strengthen everybody although you're not going to yeah let's save that for following turn 
and just one, two, three, four. You can still hit and range that, uh, wound that one. Not sure what your plan is. Go late, summon the living golem. But, yeah. <laughs> and attack something when it gets close, I guess. Uh, so the other option is to move slightly this way, but that'll put you out of range of that. So we'll just, we'll go with this. All right, so that, that should be hitting anything in here. And there was sometimes the last time I did this that I was within the AOE, but he didn't attack. And I don't know what that was about. Everybody is two target ranging. Holy moly. And everybody's poisoning too. Your innate is wound and your innate is muddle, but oh my goodness. Okay. Um, okay, well, at least everybody's shielded. Um, we're going to get back the, the singing here. <laughs> Oof. Um, I don't want you to be the one getting attacked either, so we'll go invisible. Once once we get going, I think we'll be okay, but right now it's kind of rough. One, two, three. You're going to have to... Why did I start you here? I want you to attack that thing. Um, Are you guys moving at all? One, two, three, four. Oh. No, oh, the rent. No, nah, the rending Drake is moving. The spitting are not. Okay, so the spitting aren't the problem. The rending Drake is. You're gonna go over here and you're gonna stun that one. It does mean you're only healing the one though. The other alternative is nah. Let's. I almost wish you were going later because you need to heal off all that wound, but. And you're an odd number. We'll, uh... Yeah, we'll get back the move and, and heal them. Yeah, that three damage at the start with level ones is, uh... It's quite challenging. Um... I don't really want to move. <laughs> I can strengthen you, but, uh... Two target range three. Did the big drag already went? The big drag already went. Two target range three and you have movement three. So if I go here, in order to maximize your targets, you're gonna go like here to hit you and you. Unless I go up to it and then, well, it's still gonna move here. Um. And you're still gonna focus him. Yeah, okay. Um, defensive stance. Oh, and now I'm signing myself up. Shoot. I'm signing myself up to be attacked by you now. Well, that wasn't great. Um, I forgot that, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you too, ugh. you miss me. Alright, that was definitely not ideal. Summoner, Golem, you have nothing in range, unfortunately. You're, you're just a meat shield. There's nothing in range of this, unfortunately. All right, um, undo, move here, I guess. Try to protect it a little bit. 
I can also pop you. Actually, I want to pop you here. Let the skeleton go in front. I've only got one card, so that's not going to help. And if I pop you now, I can get back those two summons, right? Okay. But I can't... Oh, t oh no. Tell me that's not... Oh. You mean I can't just get those back and reuse it? Well, that's annoying. Well, hopefully that didn't just waste my dark packs, but at least I know that now. Uh, okay, so what's your plan now? You can't be poisoned or anything. I never already used my paralyzing bite. I still have an AoE stun, which I could hit that over there. You're the only one that's wounded, though, so if you go... If you go relatively quick, you can get that and heal him. Another person that can heal is you. We don't have any fire, but maybe this guy will run up. Uh, you got what, move three? Move two. Just go for a double attack and try to heal you up, and you can heal yourself. Glorious bolt and wound something else, I guess. And your plan? Disarm? I really can only disarm one target right now. If you power ballad into a bless, you can get everybody here. Attack wound attack, so don't be adjacent to them. Not that I have much choice with that one, but And I'm already I'm already wounded, so. Alright, Bones, you did your job, thank you. What are you doing? Oh, baby. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You have nothing really to heal. What were you planning to AoE stun? You were planning to AoE stun that, but he's he's gone now. So, just go here. And then when the drake, if the drake moves, then you're already in position. Okay, um, you can still go here and bless everybody, twice. Six blesses in the summoner deck, thank you. Yeah, you two aren't gonna do a whole lot. Rending Drake down. And yep, sure shit. So when it's active, you can't get it back, so I would have to wait until they're both gone in order to do it. Alright, well, now I, now I know. I guess. They don't want you overrunning it with just <laughs> tons of steel constructs and stuff, right? Come on. Yeah, it's really... Oh, there's a chest there. It's really the uh, the multi-target attacks that do me in. And wound, obviously. But Alright, uh, let's get another Drake wounded. The big one. Uh, they can heal and stuff, so let's... Better likelihood of uh, killing that one. We need to get rid of this, this Drake so we can stop being wounded, though. Um... One, two, and your bigger range, or just flat three damage to it. Three damage to it would kill it, assuming I go first. Black fire, we need we need your big guy to actually start hitting. Thorn shooter? Yeah, okay. We'll put a thorn shooter down. It'll keep its distance and shoot. It basically can shoot him from no, no matter where. Um... You can't be muddled, but it will allow me to go over there and try to kill that. We we gotta get the the 
the Sun Keeper safe. Uh, Rending Drake isn't doing anything, just healing. Ah, that's annoying. And you're summoning Zephyrs already. We have done no damage to it. Oh, you get to go first. Ah, uh, cool. So if we can... It's a base 3 attack or 2 damage? Uh, let's do... Let's do a base 3 attack just to make sure that we get it. You're already wounded. Okay, good. Rending Drakes are done. I don't have to worry about wounds anymore. Plague Herald, you can start focusing... What are you doing? Uh, Zephyrs are coming here, but if we stay here, we can attack both. And just start damage. Miss! Likewise with you. Let's go over and whack the big dragon, I guess. Means of this, this is, the Seussinger is going to take a bunch of damage, but... We got 60 health to deal and can't just keep ignoring it. Can't be wounded. Yeah, good. Take on that thing. That means you'll attack this one and nobody else. That's good. Uh, you now have the ability to wound two things. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Um, if I'm here, one, two, three, four, five, I can. Okay, let's do that. We'll save the Thorn Shooter for next round. The more damage we can get on these drakes, the better. We only have to focus on the big guy and, and uh, avoiding the Zephyrs, of course. Uh, so we'll get back the Thorn Shooter and that. Uh, you'll be coming to me next turn. So if I... That's going to be a double late, though. Um... Y yes, Blackfire. Yep. Oof. Yeah, oof. At least you'll be hunting that one down. As long as you don't die, that is. Uh, we'll save the singing arrow. The disarm's not all that useful anymore. They're too spread out for, for one disarm as a top like that. And now those are just to be avoided because they do four damage. All right, you got two attacks coming in. You're range three from that. Ugh. Okay, we'll just do that then. Likewise... Um, sh wolf time? Thorn shooter. It's two damage and it always moves. We don't really need to pierce through anything. You need to get out of there. You need to cover the back and probably move towards the, the, the back side. Yeah. Okay. Uh... why I kept singing arrow, right? Wait, what? Oh, lava golem. Oh, f God. Because the zephyrs count as monsters, they're gonna... Oh, my goodness. That's not great. That's not a viable attack option. Untargetable by all abilities. So why do you focus that? Ugh. Um. Sunkeeper, what are you doing? I need to heal the Sunkeeper. You can't. You can't be. You can't be targeted. Oh, that is target. Okay. Well, we'll go here and target this then. Needs to be muddled next turn. Like Harold, attack the main guy, and I guess see if we can't knock that one out. It's 
Still doing damage, just a lot harder with two shield. Soul Keeper, well. I really wanna, I need to stay by this one so it attacks me. And this will keep you under, I can't target you, can I? Yeah, no. Now oh, you're wounded again, at least. All right, strengthen everybody. Yep. Uh, I can either I can make you attack. Oh, which, that was that one. Okay, you're free from the Zephyr so long as you're not AOE targeted. I think you're fine. We'll just stick you here for now. Nothing was adjacent, so you just okay. All right, Summoner, you need to go and get your guy out of there. <laughs> um, Mighty Bond. Oh. We're going to short rest. You need a faster card with a Mighty Bond here. You're going to long rest. You need to rest. I need your I need your health back. Uh, so we're gonna do cautious advance and cautious, cautious advance and heal myself up. We'll move closer and hit that, I guess. Although you're you're kind of safe. If we need to move, we'll have a move three then. All right, let's go. Oof, and you're going really fast. Oof. Wait, what? All right, see, this is what I'm talking about. So he's here, this shape should go boom, boom, boom. He should have been able to attack this thing, but he didn't. Excuse me, game, one, two, three. Now, in the, in the main game, in the, uh, the actual game, that first two is actually not targetable because the the thing usually takes up at the shape of three, and so the, the he would he would only attack this and this and maybe that's what it's trying to emulate, but it's just not communicated very well. So it's checking this and this and there's nothing there so it doesn't attack. Versus what's stated of hey this is the gray mark and go bam 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 so. I'm I'm going to guess that that's what's going on. This icon is not representative of what it actually is doing cuz again in the main game it's only the 3 and the 4 line and not the 2. Okay. So we'll just we'll go with that. Heal yourself. Um here yeah, that's not great. You're going to be out of there so you, they both should attack me. You're stunned actually. So let's go here, get a coin. Someone needs to go get that chest. Yeah, you dumb lava golem. At least you're attacking the right thing. <laughs> okay, let's let's go fix that. It's only move zero, so he's not gonna get away from it, but. There's nothing to attack. Oh, I totally forgot about this guy. Um, if I go here, I can attack both and you might be able to kill it. And then next turn you can get the chest then. Uh, that means you're gonna come over and whack the golem again, but. Please get. All right, keep, keep working on it. Which means you're going to focus that again. Ugh. Let's 
We have one more of these. That just means you won't be able to heal, though. Um, force one enemy. Can you? Can that be targeted like that, though? That's the question. Uh, muddling everything doesn't help. I can power ballad. Um, that doesn't help because he's already next to his target. We'll just strengthen everything. Um, heal. Two target range three. Okay. Nothing is melee adjacent to be able to do that, so we're just going to strengthen everything. The only thing that gets muddled is the drakes. What? Oh my goodness, it's targeting that. Ugh. Can I target you? I can't. What are the drakes doing? Undo. That is infuriating. Actually, let's go here. Get you to this side so you don't ever focus that again. I've heard that summons are also pretty bad, badly programmed on the one of the boss scenarios coming up. One of the three main boss scenarios for the end game. Alright, so you have nothing to really attack. We're just going to go get the loot. And we're not gonna bother burning that card. More money! And now next if if we fail next round I won't have to worry about that, so. Um, you're already muddled, but you're already wounded. Heal everybody. I can't reach you. Just get the wound back on this thing. So that means that Drake is dead then. We only got one more Drake to deal with. But... Oh, you had retaliate. That's right. This stupid Zephyr's gonna move up and then you're gonna focus it again. Ugh. They're untargetable. Why are the summons targeting it? Ouch. Um. Am I really gonna get the wolves out? Well. Fighting Wind's one of my fastest ones, so let's just take the damage. Of course you do, plus one. Well, you're, this is your first rest. You don't have anything to poison, so that's perfect. You also have boots, so you can one, two, three, four, and heal both. Um, I can't stun that thing. Cursing it doesn't do a whole lot. I guess we're just going to melee it? Just melee with that because it can't be poisoned, anyways. Um, you don't have any heals. One, two, three, four. You could attack that with the singing arrow. And if let's see, if you if you were to move to ah, that would only help. That would not hurt. Uh, strike that. Reverse it. This way, please. We'll just walk over and well, whichever way we gotta go, and then you. I really want to deal with that drake, I think. Go over, stun the drake, and then follow in turn. Just smack it. Just don't summon Zephyrs. <laughs> like that. Alright. It does mean that... Um, well, you still get one more attack before they move, so that's not too bad. Which you're basically not going to be able to move them. So the summoner needs to move over here and then summon the... Um, the wolves in prep. At least you're attacking the right thing, finally. You're just stuck in the middle of nowhere. Alright, um... You don't have any movement boots. The Zephyrs... <sighs> Let's 
see. You're I'm gonna heal you. I don't want to summon the wolves here. They'll take they'll just focus this, so we'll just melee attack this. And try to catch it on the next run. You do I want to run towards that? Oh, you know, I could do oh you're in the wrong spot. Um I could get my summoner moving over there. It's range three. You're only attacking one target. Um Yeah, let's get my summoner in the right spot. And then the golem's just gonna have to hopefully not die. Uh, okay, let's go here. Do I want to be greedy and get gold? Okay. So you're gonna skip this turn, you'll be two health next turn. go faster than all of them so we'll be able to get away you need to rest and you can't I need that um, one two three I can get my wolves here and so long as he doesn't move if he moves I'm gonna go here and summon my wolves instead so I'll know that ahead of time uh, shields I could stay and maybe help with you but one sh two shield is just inviting me to get a ton of damage. You also don't have your movement boots. It might be time to do Paralyzing Bite and four and two, so you can get an attack on this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you, know, you would need one more to get there, and I can't go through the Zephyrs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So do this, because it's bigger range. This just to get over there. You, uh, we need to kill this thing. Summoning Zephyr. Okay, good. Then I'll make my summoner move in the right direction. You, one, two, three, four. You're still focusing that. What are you doing? Moving, attacking two targets. Okay. Um. Well, actually, yeah, let's let's make sure that you're strengthened. It does mean that the Zephyr's gonna... Oh, here, let's go here. Uh, so the Zephyr still focuses the Sunkeeper. I'll throw a curse in the deck quick. You're just staying put because you have no target. Alright. Um, yeah, like I said, this will give me two wolves for next round. Did I not strengthen you? You are strengthened. Okay, strengthen offsets the model then. If I go here, you'll take the hit from... You'll take the hit from the Zephyr instead of the Sunkeeper. I kind of like that. Um, so you're still 1, 2, 3, 4 range away from that. So good. Just get a free attack in and hopefully kill this thing. Now the question is, do I want the Sunkeeper... Can the Sunkeeper run over there? You have movement three. One, two, three. You could. Uh, actually, let's get a four damage attack in there. Before you go and teleport. There you go. So now if the summer goes quick enough, the two wolves should be able to finish it off. 
Oh, you know what? I, I didn't realize. These Zephyr, this Zephyr's gonna go hit that wolf. Yeah. I should have put the wolf back there. Ow. Uh, actually, let's do this because we don't have any more double targets to hit. I'm gonna make sure that the wolf goes again, so. Is that everybody? Alright. So, let's make sure we get a nice. We'll do that. Short rest. We're almost done. Yeah, we'd rather do the, the base as a three attack, I think. Uh, strengthen, I guess. It's move three now. I can strengthen both of them. You can get a... Well, your wolf hits for two damage. You would also hit for two damage, but I could strengthen you. Or we could just do this and strengthen everybody. You're going to go short rest. You need a movement of one, two, three, four. Or we could... Uh, that's range three. One, two... Yeah, that's not quite big enough. Dazzling charge. We uh we we have our boots. Never mind. So just uh one one two three. Yeah, that's enough. So long. Well, hold on. Let's let's do tactical or in case we have to go across the map. Uh, so it'd be one two three one two three with your boots. Okay. Summon Zephyr. All right. Well, we're going quicker than that, anyways. Strengthen everybody. Move two just to protect the summoner, I guess. All right. Um, I can get three damage if I take a step back. Very nice. Okay. Thorn shooter not doing anything. There you go. Good job, wolf. So unfortunately, with the whole um, Zephyrs affect your summon's focus and therefore can't do anything. That's kind of that's. I hope they fix that. That's not not great at all. Even with some manipulation, your summon still skipped a lot of attacks. Like the Thorn Shooter hit twice. In the whole scenario, and then once the Zephyr came into play, it took priority over the further away. Holy moly, ten damage! Uh, the further away Drake that was sitting on this pillar. With one final blood curdling screech, the giant Drake falls off its perch and crashes to the snowy ground. It appears to still be alive. But its breaths are weak and shallow. Bloodthirsty and obtuse. I don't know why I should have expected more, the Drake whispers. Congratulations on your stunning success. I'm sure you will be heralded as heroes upon your triumphant return. Adorned in crowns of gold and cloaks of silk, riches will be laden upon you and five thousand... The Drake's whispers trail off, and the breathing stops. Needless to say, the Drake's sarcastic predictions do not come to pass. You report your deeds to the Gloomhaven authorities, and receive a modest reward to add to the modest amount of treasure you found on the Scorched Summit. Money! 
Anyways, the reason we decided to kill the Drake rather than help him, even though we're going to the Savas Armory anyway, is that the the net benefit is better. Even with the the city, well, especially because the city events that get added to the to the deck after you help the Drake, don't offset the the negatives here. Uh, for instance, the two reputation, uh, because you decided not to kill the Drake, you tell the guard that you didn't kill the Drake, and he thinks way less of you and you lose type of two reputation for that um i mean maybe that was the route to go if i was still trying to get negative reputation but um, in addition to you could just lie and say you're still working on it and also lose reputation <laughs> over and over again i don't think anything helps with the prosperity um let me check that map quick uh so you would actually end up getting five extra more gold if uh if you pull the road event you get 25 gold each instead of 20 but the the cost of five gold and two or more reputation I, I don't think is worth and uh, again you also don't get the prosperity so i'm glad with uh i'm glad we took this route and you killed something i will have to go and post and figure out what you killed <laughs> attack just to make sure that we get it you're already wounded okay good rending drakes are done i don't have to worry about wounds anymore Cool. Uh, you got a perk. Rolling elements, plus twos. Rolling poisons, probably. The more poisons you get out there, the better. The summons themselves, well... It may keep them alive. We'll, we'll do poisons, and I think we'll do heals next. Similar to the, the Sunkeeper. Next on the Sunkeeper, we'll probably do heals. Um... Okay, so note to self with the Pan of Dark Packs, these both need to be dead summons to be able to get them back. <laughs> Good to know. Um, your head item is back, so do we want to buy you an amulet? This will allow you to get a, a small the stamina pot back, but... Yeah, or advantage when you do attack. And then you got some Drake scale. You need to poison and wound. That's another option I could do on you. Um, I would lose a shield, a temporary shield, but I would be immune to poison it. Well, essentially being poisoned negates one shield which is what this does it, it gives a shield would i rather have that and spend the money on it poison and wound like that's that's the only thing really holding back the sun keeper at level one with three shield is the poison and wounds the muddles the curses even the stuns <sighs> that's tempting um Not having to deal with poisons and wounds. There is another helmet that does that too. I don't I don't think we have it yet. There's immune to stun and muddle. The Drake Skull Helm essentially makes you immune to muddle. But I like I like not being crit. That keeps the the three shield within in line. Oh, that's tempting. That is so tempting. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of the split mail. And then that essentially means that the Sawbones doesn't ever need to come back because the main reason a vaccine is to make you immune to poison specifically. Wound, yes, um, but it only does one damage per turn. I can usually heal that off quite quickly. But having a lot of things poison you, it just it stacks up the damage really quickly. So I'm trading off not being poisoned ever for that one one shield which again only affects four four attacks essentially um okay and you you now have 50 money which would be like a plus one range on that or a plus one attack um movement i'm not really struggling with movement for the most part with you 
three targets. Ah, that's that's too much money for that though. Extra movement. Extra movement. I'm considering getting you something since you well that that still counts as an, an, an enhancement, right? Uh, plus attack, plus range. And then I could use the range on whatever else I'm doing, and then this would always pretty much this would pretty much always reach then. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, so that's what, three enhancements now? So next enhancement I buy the player held retires already? Wow. I've, uh, I've been enjoying the player guild actually, and the summoner, surprisingly. City event! The sun is out and you're enjoying a pleasant stroll across the silent bridge until you see two demons attacking a man ahead of you. You get closer and you can hear the demons berating the man as they swipe him with their claws. Swipe at him with their claws. You dare spit on us as we walk past one of the meals. We will show you the consequences of defying authority. So this city event got added because we helped the demons overthrow Gloomhaven. Um, and what happens is if you intervene, <laughs> something really bad happens. You lose a prosperity because they take it out on the town. <laughs> so we're going to do the, the keep walking thing um, and hampen our, uh, dampen our reputation a little bit because we don't want to waste that prosperity. Uh, so we're just going to keep walking. You continue your stroll, trying to block the unpleasantness from your mind. Unfortunately, others around you cannot and they are reminded of the actions you took that caused this horrible, all too frequent occurrence. So it's a one-time loss of one reputation versus a one-time loss of one prosperity. And uh, there's only one method, if, so if you decide to intervene, here's what happens. There's only one method these demons respect, violence. You run forward and hack at one of the demon's arms as it comes down to strike the man. The arm falls limp to the ground, and the rest of the demon soon follows. The other demon looks at you with seething rage as you face it with raised weapons. This grave insult will not go unpunished. The city will feel our wrath. So again, the demons take it out on the entire city if you decide to intervene. Because technically, at the time of this, they were it was demonic rule, and that's why. But... You know, we've, if we were still doing the main campaign on, on Tabletop, we would have made it Demon Rule, gone and helped Jexair to make it Mercantile Rule, and no longer Demon Rule. But, you know, again, the, the city events still get added to the deck, unfortunately. Was there anything I wanted to add to you? Because I still, I still would like to play you a little bit more, I think. With 50 gold, we can add a plus one attack. Uh, I think it's 60 in order to add, like, plus movement or something to um, to a summon, right? Plus movement. It's 100. Holy. All right. Um, yeah, because I, I, that would be a really nice thing to add to you. Because your big thing is movement. Heals are kind of meh. Ah, we'll just save the gold. I'll, I'll decide this one time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.